In this screencast we're going to cover compressing audio. This is a screencast for both Mac users and PC users. Mac users, there is no way to compress the audio in the Mac version of PowerPoint. So if you want to do it, you'll have to save your narrated PowerPoint and then bring it over to a PC machine to finish it, uh, to, to, to do the compression. And PC users, well, you'll just continue on as normal. I say that because I can tell from the icon here of the speaker that this was actually created on a Mac. So the PC icon looks a little bit different when it's created in a PC. Once it's in the PC version, there's no difference, so you can just carry on as normal. So to compress the images, we'll just go through that again. You need to just select an image, and you'll notice that the little blue handles are active, and then click on Picture Tools, Format, and Compress Pictures. There it is, and there's the um, the choices that you can have. This is already a small uh, image, so it doesn't offer those outputs. But if it was a higher resolution image, it would allow you to compress to those settings. You can uh, choose to apply it to the only this picture, or uncheck that to apply it to every picture. You can also choose to delete the cropped area, so you can uh, have editable areas later on if you choose to open it up. So I'll click OK, I'll cancel that, I won't apply that. And we'll move on to compressing the audio. So back in the File tab we can see the info shows us how large the file size is at the moment. It's got 10 slides and it's a 30 megabyte PowerPoint. Now most of that is the media files. So we can we can safely assume that we know that the pictures are all low resolution so that the main weight or heft in this file is the narrated audio so very simply we just hover over this one click the little downward facing arrow and we can choose what type of quality we compress it to importantly you can also undo so you can review the quality and see if it's um, suitable for you let's just choose internet quality click that one and it'll go through the process close okay so we can see that the compression has happened and we've gone down to the media files in this presentation are now 5 megabytes a much more manageable size and of course you can go through and listen back to that just to see how it sounds um, and see if it's suitable for your needs